All right, it's time to bring in Leger Ducible for more on the Jets. And Leger, where would you draw the line on a trade for Mr. Debo Samuel? Yeah, Chris, any of the first round picks, number four or number 10, is just way too rich for me. If you look at what the Jets were trying to do when they tried to trade for Tyreek Hill earlier this offseason, they were willing to give up the number 35, the number 38, and the number 69 pick. Now, I know a lot of Jet fans on Twitter have told me that with the evaluation, that equals the number 10 pick. But to me, it's not the same, right? Because with the number 10 pick, you could trade back, still get maybe two first-round picks, get a first, second, or even a third-round pick. So I just think two, any of the, the first-round picks the Jets have, the number four and number 10, it's just way, way too rich for the Jets. And just knowing Joe D, I don't think it'll happen if the San Francisco 49ers ask for the number 10 pick. Yeah, I don't think uh, Joe's going to pull the trigger on that as well. Now, if the Jets don't swing a trade, uh, which, you know, we'll see what happens, uh, what wide receiver in the draft is the best fit for this type of offense? Yeah, Chris, I don't actually have any receiver as a top 10 pick in this draft, but there was one guy that I had as a top 10 pick before the injury, and that's Jamison Williams, and that's the main concern, right? The injury, he's coming off the ACL, but if you look what the Jets need and what they don't possess on offense, it's a guy that can take the top off the defense. They already tried to go and get that in Tyreek Hill, so Jamison Williams is a guy that can take the top off the defense. He's actually a really good route runner, doesn't get enough credit for that, but I think Jamison Williams would be a great pick. The only thing is, will Joe D be willing to take a guy in the top 10 that is coming off a major injury? Yeah, that is something that always will give uh, executives and scouts pause. Now, the Jets have been also linked to Kayvon Thibodeau, who seems really to be the most polarizing player, at least at the top of the draft. And you were in the league for 10 years, so how would you feel if you were the one being analyzed like Kayvon? And should the Jets be concerned? Yeah, Chris, that's the NFL we're in today, right? Uh, a guy's outspoken, a guy is talking about his brand, but Kayvon Thibodeau is very self aware. He understands if he doesn't go out there on that field and make any plays, and him talking about his brand means absolutely nothing. Nobody is going to care about it. Nobody is going to want to market him, and he's very aware of that. Now, if I'm the Jets, this doesn't bother me too much, right? Because this is the age we're in, social media age. Guys are outspoken now coming out of college. You got NIL deals. They're talking about their brand and how they can benefit off of their likeness. So to me, you know, that doesn't bother me. To me, I would have to really dive in deep, see what Kayvon Thibodeau's why is. Why does he want to play the game of football? And if that equates to him going out there and loving the game and, and putting on a performance that we think we're comfortable in taking the top 10, then that's all that matters. Uh, somebody talking about their brand shouldn't shy a team away from wanting to take him in the top 10. So would you rather take Kayvon or Mr. Jermaine Johnson uh, in the top of this draft? Chris, you know my answer. You know, my, I'm taking Jermaine Johnson, and it's it's strictly a football thing. It's nothing against Kayvon Thibodeau. Again, I don't have an issue with him talking about his brain. I just think Jermaine Johnson, besides Aiden Hutchinson, is the most pro-ready defensive end in this draft as far as stopping the run and getting to the quarterback. To me, Kayvon Thibodeau is a guy that's going to have to build up to being a quality starter in the NFL. He'll be able to come and give you some good reps to start off, but I don't think he'll be a full-time starter. But I think Jermaine Johnson's ready to be a full-time starter in the NFL right now. Yeah, and the Jets are looking for players to produce from day one, not most, not so much uh, a project, uh, a little bit more for Kayvon. Lindsay Zuzabal, thanks so much for the time, man.